Hi guys, how's it going? Matt and Tumult here. Welcome back to some more Airport City. It's been an absolute age, but here we are with Airport City. So, uh, ooh, I'm just going to straighten the camera out a little bit there. Right, uh, so it's been quite a while since we played some Airport City. Um, but uh, here we are, we're back. And, uh, well, we're going to be playing this for a little bit um, over the course of sort of a couple of months. Going to be throwing it in alongside our European Universalis 4 Sea Skylines and that kind of jazz. But today we're going to talk about the latest quest. So the latest quest is called Curse of the Valley of the Kings, and it looks pretty, well, on paper, it looks relatively straightforward, but we're going to take a look at it and see what it actually encompasses. So Curse of the Valley of the Kings. Uh, so the first task is to take a flight to Giza, um, which I've already done, uh, but uh, I'll show you that uh, over here. Uh, if you go to your special flights on your flight bar, you can see all the special flights that we have available over here. So you take a flight to Giza. Fairly straightforward, requires a pilot and a turboprop plane. Job done. Okay, so next job is to build a burial vault. So the burial vault costs uh, 1,500 uh, coins, and it gives you possessed passengers. Now, this is really quite quite cool, to say the very least. Possessed passengers are dropped uh, every hour from the burial vault, and you have a maximum of 660 possessed passengers. Um, I don't know whether that changes depending on your level or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and you use those possessed passengers to fly to the other special places over here. So Dashur, for instance, requires possessed passengers. So you use those to fly to some of the other destinations. And they are dropped every hour from the um, burial vault. So you need to build one of those. Probably you're going to want to build quite a few of them. Uh, so that way you get lots of possessed passengers. So you'll be able to fly a lot more often to the, uh, the destinations that require them. Task 3 is to complete the Ancient Ritual Collection. Now this is fairly straightforward. Uh, the items are dropped from the various flights that I have just showed you over here. So they are dropped from the flights that are Giza, uh, Servitary... Me Mycenae? Oh, I don't know how that's pronounced. Tyre and Paphos. Uh, the Paphos requires the Thunderbird plane. They all require different planes uh, to actually fly. Uh, interesting that there's no actual jet or powerful Delta flight, uh, which is quite interesting, but uh, oh well, that's the way it goes. And you need to complete that collection five times. Now, the rate at which this completes is going to depend on how often you fly, but also the drop rate. And so um, it will sort of depend on how often you fly. And hopefully, you just got to hope and pray that the items that you really need are going to drop frequently. you really got to hope. That's all you can do. Keep flying and keep trying. That's, that's literally my only advice for that. Task 4 is to acquire the Whispers of the Walls collection. So this is the next one down. And this is completed as a result of collections from the Burial Vault. And uh, these little collectible items drop now and again. Um, so that's why more than one Burial Vault is going to be a very, very good idea. Because uh, not only are you going to be picking up those possessed passengers. But you're also going to be uh, trying to collect these items for the Whispers in the Wall collection. That you need also to complete five times. The final quest is to put together the Lords of the Nile connection. Now, this is a little bit harder uh, because these things all drop from the Dashur flights. Uh, so all of these, you have to fly to Dashur pretty darn frequently to be able to pull this one off. The problem with Dashur is you need an extra item for this. And this item is the straight jacket. Uh, you can purchase it with airport coins or you can find it in some sets. The easiest way to get all of it, though, is to build the burial vault once again. It will drop these items for you. I think it's on... I can't remember the actual frequency. I really should have built one of these before actually making this video, um, to, just, to, just to show you what actually happens. But um, yes, so their burial vaults are really, really important. Uh, they're going to be able to help you complete uh, one, two, three of these quests. So uh, without the burial vaults, without the, a good number of burial vaults, you're going to probably struggle a little bit, which is not really what you want to be doing. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and build one right now, actually, because I've got a space over there. Um, why am I going there? That's a little bit stupid. There we go. Burial vault. Uh, it's a 4x4 building. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it takes a couple of hours to build, and then you're up on your way uh, pretty much straight away at that point. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and actually build another one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the, uh, the bowling over here. Could have possibly put it in my inventory if I wanted to, but that overall actually costs quite a bit. So uh, I'm not really a huge fan of that. But let's go ahead and build another one of these. There we go, and uh, let's get those two going, and then we're, well, I'll sort of see what kind of success I have. Um, if you want to insta-build these, it costs you a thousand coins, which isn't too bad. Um, you, sometimes they make you uh, charge airport cash for that, which is eh, not ideal, but you know. Okay, and that's pretty much about it. So on paper, as I said, it's a relatively simple, uh, simple quest. 
And uh, it's quite different to the uh, the one last year, the Halloween event, which had the shotgun, if you remember that. That was quite funny. Um, but yeah, it's quite different, but I think this one might be a little bit simpler. As long as you can get the um, the flights going and things like that, as long as you can fly a hell of a lot and um, hope, hope that the, the items drop at a relatively frequent rate, I reckon it's going to be relatively decent to complete. And I reckon a lot of people will have a fair bit of success in doing so. I would like to know, actually, okay, so you can go to uh, Visitor's Burial Vaults over here. Let me just pick up a Possessed Passenger. Uh, unfortunately, though, the items that you can get from your own Burial Vaults, you cannot collect as part of uh, visiting your friends. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Uh, I think that that was a really, uh, it was a, a helpful way of increasing your chances of uh, picking up... Um, Picking up possessed, um, picking up the, the the items that you need was a real extra um, extra means of actually achieving it, uh, which was quite good. But unfortunately, they've left that out of this task. Maybe that's because this task is a little bit easier on paper. So as they've uh, they've sort of just nerfed it a little bit to make it a little bit tougher. Um, but yeah, but re realistically, my the best advice I can give is just keep flying to the destinations, uh, build as many burial vaults as you can. And uh, yeah, just just keep flying and keep collecting, and eventually you will uh, hopefully get enough together to be able to complete the uh, complete the quest. I don't know what you actually get at the end of the quest. Uh, usually, you get some sort of building that uh, either gives you coins, passengers, and also increases your maximum population, uh, which is quite good. Uh, but you've got about fourteen days. You've got about uh, two weeks to actually complete it. Uh, I'm actually recording this on the second day of. Um, of this quest so uh, yeah we'll see how it goes i might post uh, an update video as we go through just to see how we're getting on uh but there we go so that's it for now any questions about the quest please feel free to drop them in the comments below um if the airport city developers and all that do share this video i'm going to be sharing it on their facebook page if they do share it i would like to send them a special thanks um and thank you ever so much for watching uh as i said any questions please feel free to ask but that's it for now thanks for watching and join me next time for more for myself matt de tomato good luck with the quest guys